Hi, I'm Kristen Fachil and I work for the Canadian Space Agency as a robotics flight controller. I've been working in the space robotics field for the last decade. I'm a Toronto native and I did all of my schooling here, including going to the University of Toronto and graduating from aerospace engineering back in 2009. Since then, I've been working on projects that included on-orbit satellite servicing using space robotics, as well as doing real-time flight support for all the robotic systems on the International Space Station. The seed was planted for my passion in space exploration back when I was 10 years old and I attended space camp in Laval, Quebec, so just outside of Montreal. And that was where I learned what the Canadarm was and all about the Hubble Space Telescope and the repair missions that were associated with it. From there, combined with my interest in science and math, I started developing an interest in robotics specifically and decided to pursue a career in engineering. I think it's really important for young women and girls to get involved in and develop a foundation with STEM at a very young age because it really opens the door to different possibilities for the future both for yourself and your careers but also for the future of the world in which we live in. Science gives us an understanding of the world that we live in and engineering allows us to develop new applications to improve that world. So being able to have that intersection of all those fields and all of those different areas of expertise will really allow us to create the future that we want to live in. The most fun thing I do is that I get to train all the astronauts that are going to be flying to the International Space Station. So anytime a CSA, NASA, um, JAXA, which is the Japanese Space Agency, or even the uh, Russians as well as the European astronauts, uh, as soon as they're assigned to a flight and they know that they're going to be doing any of the Canada M2 operations, they come to the Canadian Space Agency for their robotics training. So I've been able to train a bunch of the astronauts that have both flown recently or are about to fly. A STEM hero of mine is definitely Roberta Bondar. She really paved the way for women in space exploration at, at an early point in my career. And of course, my mother, who was a biology teacher, really fueled that passion for science at an early age for me. Since the year 2000, which is a lot of people's lifetime at this point, I'm realizing we have had humans continuously orbiting the Earth in which we live. Learn to ask for what it is you want because at the end of the day, being able to ask those questions and being able to know the path that you want to take is really going to help you move further. And if you do ask somebody and you get a no, it's only going to make you stronger and you're not going to end up any further back from where you started.